Welcome back to GDPG, where we play games and talk game design. Uh, we're back time? with Bastion. What? 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 What did you say? Where's the time? I said most of the time. Oh, most of the time. <laughs> most of the time we talk game design. Yeah. Sometimes we talk E3 if you saw episode oh, one yeah. of this. Well, E3 is just happening, but by the time this episode comes out, people will be like, that was two weeks ago. It'll be like you one fools. week ago. Well, I had to clip the mic once. Yeah, you did. And we're going to the sundown path. <laughs> Um, where shit starts getting interesting. Well, it, it already is interesting. I mean, it already is, but okay. But for gets. real this time, let's not talk over as much of the the narration. There's no narration. <laughs> used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. The kid ain't here for pleasure, though. No. no. I think last time we played this, I think I kept the hammer for this one. Uh, I honestly don't remember. Yeah, cause I'm a big fan of the hammer. This is because this is the one where things start getting really moving oh, around. Yeah, you are using my favorite combo right now, though the Seven machete and the, the breaker bow. The That's my combo, man, right there. Is that your combo? Absolutely. Because this is the one where, like, this is where I, the, I should get the magnet. I feel like I should have switched to the magnet for this one. So we we did kind of just talk Close over something important. Oh, of course. Um, what just happened this was that someone took the core. The like, the core is gone. Like, what happened, why everything's starting so to collapse is because the core was removed. And much like, you know, the first time we got the core, everything started collapsing. So we came here because we knew there was a core here, and lo and behold... Yep, it's gone. Oh, that makes such a big difference. I didn't realize I said this early. Yeah, yeah. First time we played this, we totally, totally missed, missed that. It. Probably because, once again, we were talking oh, over everything. It just makes me happy that I did play this game in my personal time, because Straight now I at least have more context. <laughs> yeah, right? Now, I wonder, with the flamethrower, can you actually, like, block that back at them? No. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. so. I could well, be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, do I still have the stupid mines? I didn't change my... I should have changed my loadout. The mines will be great on falling platforms. Yeah, man, this is gonna be perfect. This is just the one I needed. To be fair, this is one of those games where... No, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> what a dick move game. You should, uh, uh, you okay. should, you should heal. You should, you gotta heal, man. There you go. That was horse crap. Yeah, you would think that some of those half pieces that. would, like, not fall. Because you can that see there's... such crap. Sorry. I mean, but, like... You can see there's a so really narrow noise. path that right. isn't going to isn't fall. Isn't going to fall right there. But, like, everywhere where you were, that wasn't there. Oh, jeez. Why is this one following me still? Get out of here. Dude, because they don't fall. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, I'm nice. so good. So I was gonna say earlier. Sky bridges make the path together. Oh, so you're talking about those sky bridges? Yep. Um, and we take the sky bridge. To get along. I do think this is one of those games where. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yes, I, I can. Um, the abilities. So like the mine, right? Glass. Yes. I don't like think that. I think this game would actually still up. function totally fine without them. Air travel always. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. And like the mine's so good for this level, though, as we've already discussed. Like, <laughs> this is the one tool we need because I want to drag people over to a specific part here because that's exactly what needs to happen. I just have them burn each other. I'm not gonna ha keep doing Look that. That's, that's not smart. Everything. Yeah. Even with oh, but this. Hey, come on. Oh, that worked. <laughs> kind of worked. Hey, there we go. Look at how much more damage you deal, though, when you knock it back. It's like when it naturally bounces back and hits itself, it deals, I think, the base damage of their weapon. So it would deal four damage to you. And so when you're not actually, like, counterattacking, it just deals four damage. But when you hit it back, it, it multiplies so it by, much. what, eight? Yeah, let's, let's see if I can do it. Show it real quick. Oh, no. I, but yeah, I, th I think it's like four damage. It's it's crazy. Well, if and there are some... The in the old days, uh, I think there are spirits you can get that increase it even further. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. the question is. That's crazy. Oh, I love it. That's why I love the counterattacks in this game. Especially because not only do they feel extremely potent, I, I just feel like 
they're it really like it's worth it at the end of the day. Yeah, you know, it, it well, feels that like <laughs> you are accomplishing something by having the counter attack. But even more so, I think the attacks in this game are easy enough to anticipate to where you're not screwing yourself over if you try. And that's why in games that's like fair. Dark Souls, I just give up on the counter well, attacks. Because, like, it doesn't matter because you're gonna get killed by everything anyway. <laughs> it's true. I'm sorry, I just, I haven't played a lot of Dark Souls, I have a lot of friends that love Dark Souls, and I know that it's a real fun game, and that a, a lot of people love it, like, I know. I know all of these things for a fact. I, I mean, I like it. But I just, like, I don't know, I've never been, like, a big fan of, like, super ridiculously difficult games, I guess. Well, okay, in defense of Dark Souls 1, which yes. is the one that I've played, um, it's not hard for the sake of being hard. It's hard because that is just how the game mechanics work. That's fair. And again, at the same time, I we get the grenade. Um, but it's 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 fun because it gives you an experience. Ooh, nice uh, aim. Wow. Uh, I'm really good you, at this. Uh, I can hold LT to aim. Oh. Oh yeah. There you go. There you go. Except I'm I'm not out yet. But the reason I think that Dark Souls is successful in being difficult is because they were, they were smart about how they were difficult. Um, it wasn't pointlessly difficult. It was difficult because it was cleverly designed. And that's fair. And, I'm, I'm like and I said, cumbersome, too, but that almost made I'm, it more fun. I'm being a little poo-faced because it's fun to watch. Like, I, well, I will not deny. You're also not like Cujo in that you like... You know all the hardcore AAA title games, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, not that Cujo's good at Dark Souls, <laughs> but sorry, Cujo. Oh, no, no, sorries, no sorries here. But I mean, you get what I mean, right? Like you're into, I don't know, games that can be more casually enjoyed. Yeah, I'm more of a casual gamer. Um, like I do like my my Ooh. AAA title. Oh my god. Well, you do. I mean, and that's why I think AAA titles are actually generally more on the casual line than yeah, a lot of indie games are. Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? So, okay, let's let's talk about that one second. One oh, yeah. thing we did miss that, even though we said we were going to talk over the narration, we did anyway, probably because we get so into Other everything happening. Yeah. Um, so we didn't find the core that time. But that ain't about to stop us. So the theory of why we didn't find a core there, and the narrator said this, the stranger said this, um, is because Come that scumbag... Can't be too careful these days. I just had to. The scumbag you fought at the end... Yep. Um, the stranger is like, turns out the scumbag thought the core would make a good meal. So the implication being that the scumbag ate the core... Now, we didn't see the core, nor did we see the scumbag eat yeah. the core, um, nor did we you find any remnants the of the core inside of him. Yeah, so whether or not that's true or if I the characters know. are just assuming this is one thing. But I do think it still kind of foreshadows what happens later in the game. Yes. So it's an interesting situation all the way through and through. I have something burned, but I can't use it yet because I don't have the weapon yet. The one sad thing about that is that we do return to the Bastion without a core, which Squirt in a way feels like right a out. lack of progression. Yeah, in, in a way, taste. but at the same time, it does bring up the per first profound question, right? Did anyone else survive? Because yes. Because there has to be. And that's the first time we really, like, see that question be addressed. In theory, do you think that somebody grabbed the core and that's how the scumbag ate it? Because it seems like they can't mm. grab the stuff without it. It seems like something usually is protecting the core. That's true. Um, in most cases, I know the first core you get is, and it's just, like, lying out there. But the other cores seem to be, like, underneath some kind of, like, lock and key sort of thing. Yeah, no, actually, that's a really good point. Yeah, it just kind of seems like... Like, really, this is where we start getting into the questions of what, what else is out there. Because we know it's me and the, it's the stranger and I, right? Mm -hmm. Like, who else is out there? Um, should we start looking at the next world? You could also go down to your little, uh, uh, I forget what they're called, that little buddy and pet him. I love them. Squirt. Ah. You can keep petting him, too. Can give me something if I keep petting him. Nope, it's just... Uh, come on, give the little tiger. I just tried to hear him say that. 
man. They've just got such great voice over hidden in they, so many different they, they areas. They really do. They really, really do. And the, one of my favorite, you did off camera, oh and it's the first gosh. time that the kid falls off the, the ground. He goes, and then the kid falls to his death. Nah, I'm just kidding. Just put it in right here. You can just play it for him. We have the video there. Uh, yeah, except uh, we kind of talked over a, it. Yeah, you talked over it. That's true. The whiny poo face. And then he falls to his death. Aww, you wasted it. I'm just fooling. <laughs> it's one of my favorite narrations. Oh, oh, is it the only time it'll happen? Yeah, the, he goes, and then the kid falls to his death. Oh, we have it. Nah, just kidding. This is, this is what I have to deal with daily. Whiny poo face, Chris. <laughs> I think you should change it from Affinity Chris to Whiny Poo Face Chris. Oh, dude, I changed my Twitter name, like, on the weekly basis. So, like, right now I'm Hipster Chris, but dude, next, next week, week I'll be Whiny, whiny Poo Chris. Yeah, Whiny Poo Chris. <laughs> but anyway, that's all we have for this episode. <laughs> um, What's the question of the day? <laughs> man, okay. Uh, <laughs> well... I feel like we should talk about the narration, even though I, we, we keep talking over it. Yeah, but to, to this level specifically was so important. That's true. I mean, do you want to talk about the level instead, rather than the narration? Um, Because those two don't necessarily you know go hand in hand. Let's talk about the level. Okay. I think there's a lot of time to talk about the narration. That level was an interesting level. So, okay, then there, there are two things I want to talk about with the level. One, um, I think it's important to talk about, like, the the lack of receiving a core, and now that precedent is set at the beginning of the stage, right? Yes, like yes. We, 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 we know that okay. we're not going to leave this level with a core. Yep. So my question to you guys is: Do you think that from a a player player progression standpoint, um, should the player have gotten something else instead of a core? Since that obviously wasn't going to happen. Do you think that it kind of like feels like they're jipping the player in this instance while they're trying to build up this bastion so they can better the character? Or it's like it's like being promised a bunch of a buttload of EXP from finishing a boss and the boss runs off before you get and then you get nothing. Yeah, yeah. Or are we rewarded with an, a new story idea and a new element? Is that what we get in place of is, the core? Does yeah? Is that a worthy replacement? Yeah, really? that's fair. I think that's fair. So. Guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And please, if you want to keep seeing us play Bastion or any one of these other cool games, just click that button, vote for us, because we do listen to you. And if you're ever like, man, these two guys, they talk about things that I like to hear about. What can I do to help them out? Well, the absolute best thing you could do is just share some of these videos. If yeah. you, honestly, if you enjoy them, just show them to people that would also like them. Anyone that's into game design, or even if you think that we need to do better about talking about game design, yeah. then let us know, and we will do better, or we will do our best to do better, and then make give you even more reason to share it. Chris will fire me. I if it's because of me. I don't pay him, so yeah. They'll just be like, "Stop coming," or they'll just move recording studios, <laughs> and I'll be like, "Where is everybody?" But thank you for watching, everyone. See you next time. <laughs> we'll guys. see you in the next episode.